it screaming or start screaming. Start streaming <laughs> right now. We're back in the green. We're definitely back in the green. And let's back see. In- it's starting up. Woo, there we go. Now we are back to being live. I am so <laughs> I am so salty right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is like the third time in a row. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe it's uh the YouTube's God's way of saying uh <laughs> It's like, hey, you know what? We're not gonna let you guys <laughs> stream anymore. But no, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and talk about Circus Circus a little bit. Um, yep, yep, Ismail, we're back. We're back. We're finishing this podcast. <laughs> yeah, I had to go step out uh, because my my wife she was pregnant. My baby was, you know, just <laughs> crapping everywhere. I had to go go, go get diapers. Wait, no, you, you're gonna gotta make up no stories. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Making up stories on the internet, that's not possible. Never never happened before, right? <laughs> never happened before. I'm telling the 100% legit truth. Always too and legit it... to quit. MC Hammer Jr. over here. <laughs> oh, my God. Someone said, is that a flaw in your story? Your wife is pregnant and you're going out to get your Diapers kid. already? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that you know, that that might seem like I'm cheating there. <laughs> well, no, here's the thing. Because, you know, you could. I mean, you could. that could be a baby from a previous marriage. That could be your guys' first baby. You didn't say if, it was, if she was pregnant with your first baby or your second. There you go. There, no inconsistency there. Yep. There you go. Internet. I, I can lie how much I want. I'm behind the screen, and you just have to believe me. Keyboard warriors. Like Cartman. Oh, Cal. Cal, you got in front of me. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. Now let's get back on track. Let's get back on track. Okay, I, I, yeah, we're doing oh. a whole podcast this week, guys. None of this halfway nonsense. So sorry about that, guys. Let's talk about Circus Circus. So last year. Last year, MSK, Swaggy, you went to Circus yes. Circus. Tell us about it. I overall, it was my very first actual hotel experience in Vegas since I was very little. Because when we were little, we didn't get a chance to go to a hotel. We just like go and visit like my mom and sister. And then I went to, we went to Circus Circus because my friend was, he wanted to just do something quick and easy. It was just, it, it wasn't because of the money. It was because more like this, this is quick and easy. They charge, you pay online get your hotels it, it's like a basic overall ho- hotel from what i got gathered from it yeah. we, we went they give you key cards we had to kind of slip through a little bit because we only had two key cards and there's three of us so we had to kind of you know two people had to leave one one person had to stay back or basically like you go in and you have the security guard checks the cards but going out they don't check because obviously how would they know you know right right definitely so so basically like if you wanted to go to go, to go get food one person would obviously you know, go with the other person, come back, one person would stay. But overall, just leaving, you make sure three people leave. So, yeah, that was okay. I, I just don't think there was anything really alluring or attractive. It had, like, basic stuff like, you know, you could get married. And I was like, wait a minute, can I just find a random girl right now and she would marry me? And I guess going to the chapel. <laughs> legally, you could do that. I wouldn't recommend it, but legally, you could do that. <laughs> hey, moving up in the world. There you and go. And then after that, there was decent – it had a bunch of good stuff in there. I just don't think that – the overall – that's the overall hotel for me if I had to just choose because it just felt like – it felt boring. The rooms were kind of boring. Mm-hmm. Uh, the trash cans were the size of like almost Yu-Gi-Oh tins. <laughs> Lord, yeah, they were small. Their, the TV is like no remote. What? Go down in the internet. I don't know what's going on. Something's – I think someone's trying to download in the background and it's driving me nuts. But no, keep, keep, keep telling the story. I'm going to go ahead and stop yeah. whatever it is. <laughs> and then after that, the hotel room was kind of – whack uh you know we're in the the rooms the hallways are so long and it's like uh, i don't know if that's overall about the hotel for me i just it feels like a, a hotel for people to take their kids to to stay because the office circus circus you have events for kids but we're adults we're not really going there for that you know right it's i didn't overall hate it from a, from the perspective of dislike it i just think that it wasn't the hotel for me oh my god it was a java update oh my god a java Java update knocked me offline how how Uh, what quad cores (laughs) i7 (laughs) the video graphics but java update too strong (laughs) oh i've had such weak yeah we're talking rooms at circus circus right now guys (laughs) it, it wasn't overall the hotel it was just like the room was kind of bland the room was bland the place itself is okay i just think that the overall experience was for a different demographic than me right definitely well let me go ahead and ask you this then 
So, okay. and you haven't been to Treasure Island. You said that you guys didn't get a chance to get off no. the, get onto the strip or do any, uh, there, there was no debauchery, unfortunately, because you guys were there I, for business. I wanted to be in bed with two other guys, and that's where I wanted to be. Hey, you know, more power to you, bro. That, that Actually, that that means you made a mistake by not going out. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, because I wanted to go to strip clubs. The plan was to go to strip clubs, and I didn't get a chance to go to strip clubs, and I wanted to see strippers, and that was my goal, and I didn't get it, and I didn't win an esports event. So basically, I came home with double disappointment. <laughs> yeah, bo- bollocks were about as cyan as they got, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was our like, okay, we're on our way back home, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm a complete loser. <laughs> <laughs> it was a rough time. Yeah, you're gonna have to go yeah. recreationally next time. Um, no, no lap dances <laughs> and no esports events. Gotcha. Well, I, my life. <laughs> but you're saying that circus circus is pretty lame, right? From an, an adult standpoint, yeah. And you know what? I agree with you. And frankly, I'd say every single one of my viewers would agree with you. Maybe aside from one or two. But that was actually voted to be the absolute worst hotel on the Las Vegas trip by my Vegas group. Uh, the uh, My Vegas Gifts, Guides, and Giveaways group. It's not actually my group. My boy uh, Chong actually runs that. Uh, but no, wait. I ran a vote in there. And it actually got six times the votes as the second worst one. It actually took 300 votes to as the worst of the Vegas hotels. And, you know, everyone's always been on about bulldoze the place. Make it a parking lot. Uh, Resorts World's takeover. Let's go ahead and redo the Lucky Dragon Hotel and Casino. But... Um, we were talking about Treasure Island earlier. Remember the guy with the pirate show and all that, Phil Ruffin, right? That we were talking yeah. about earlier. Yes, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he actually decided to go ahead and purchase their Circus Circus. Really? Yeah. So he's purchased the Circus Circus Hotel and Casino, or at least that's the rumor right now. Now I'm not sure okay. if it's part of a lease back deal or whatever, because MGM Group, um, they actually do own Circus Circus right now. They're at least they're 50 percent owners. And let me tell you how disinterested MGM is. Um, now, do you understand the concept of Players Club cards? I do not. Okay. That is some nerd talk. <laughs> well, Players Club cards <laughs> has. Well, well, you remember. Uh, well, you remember your Yu-Gi-Oh! is you get your Konami card. And, um, you know, you, you sign up and then you play through games, you get points, they track your play and all that, and they determine what kind of player it is. It's the same deal with the Players Club card. So you have your Players Club card, let's say an M Life card, because we're talking about MGM. So when you play slots, when you play blackjack and all that, they track your play, and based on your play, they'll give you comps, they'll give you special offers and all that. Helps you track your gameplay so you can write off any losses on taxes, so on and so forth, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's how that works. But MGM cares so little about Circus Circus that it doesn't have an M Life desk there. So an MGM property doesn't let you use your MGM Players Club card. <sighs> I kid you not, it's an MGM property where an M Life card is completely effing useless. <laughs> That's correct. Ismail's right. They don't have an M Life desk. Terrible place. No M Life desk. So at this point, it looks like Circus Circus actually might be out of the circle of MGM properties, which is bad news for Excalibur because that means that place is the worst one. Um, hopefully, I'm thinking that it means that they're that Phil Ruffin's hopefully gonna clean up Circus Circus uh, and maybe spend some money to make it a little better although the place still does print money because people do bring their kids there so there's this subset of people that think it's okay to bring their kids to vegas i'm not one of them there are people that are that do that and you know what if you're responsible you're taking care of your kids you're bringing them in at night that's cool do your thing i say go ahead and go for it but i'm not a big proponent of taking kids to vegas because they're specifically mine because there are some things